personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Here what's going on. It's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, interesting stuff going on out of that Golden Boy Promotions camp. Really interesting stuff. I would say borderline crazy and suicidal, but... You know, boxing or ESPN, I should say, they were talking to Eric Gomez, the president of Golden Boy Promotions, you know, been in boxing for a long time. You know, definitely someone worth uh, knowing if you're in this business because he's a very prominent figure in this sport, you know. But Eric Gomez was talking about Jaime Munguia and their future plans, and he started throwing out a fight with Dimitri Bivol. So uh, let's read what he said, and then we will dissect from there. Uh, Gomez stated the following, and I quote, he, he being Munguia, he is ready for any of the greats. There is a lot of interest in doing a fight with Dimitri Bivol, which is one of the fights that Munguia is very interested in. We are seeing rivals, but it's what he wants. The big fights this year. One thinks it's crazy because Munguia has been fighting at middleweight, but Jaime and Zenever Promotions, Fernando Beltran, see something that they, they like in that fight versus Bivol. Jaime is big and very strong. He has to work hard to reach 160 pounds. One of the last fights he fought above the, above the weight, and he felt very strong. So it's not that crazy, end quote. Now, interesting stuff because this is a guy. Let's 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 make no qualms or have any confusion about it. When we talk about the most protected fighter in boxing, I know people will get on Tank, but Tank is fought Pedraza, you know, a world champion at that weight, you know, legit world champion. He's fought, you know, some good fighters. People get on Canelo. I've gotten on Canelo. But Canelo Alvarez, I mean, come on. Look who he's fought. Demetrius Andrade. You can say he hasn't fought anybody, but he's been fighting guys who are in his actual weight class. Guys that are coming to win. You know, Munguia. I, I, I don't know how anybody can look at him and, and, and say he's not the most protected fighter in boxing. Won, the, won a world title at 54 against a, a, a welterweight, pretty much, in Saddam Ali. And then since that, you know, got his ass beat by Dennis Hogan in his own country, in his own home, you know, home country. And was lucky that he was in his home country because he really should have lost his record against Dennis Hogan. And I haven't forgotten about that. Dennis Hogan's a world champion. Um... And then since then, has been very carefully maneuvered. I think probably his best win, I would say, best opponent he's fought, probably maybe like a Liam Smith type of opponent. But, you know, he hasn't fought those creme de la creme A-level guys. Didn't want to fight Andrade, even though he sat in that number one contender spot for years. Um, that's what it is. And, you know, and, you know the Charlo talks broke down. So, Munguia has been ha fed a lot of opponents that, don't get me wrong, these guys are talented and they have their things about them, their attributes, but they're not top grade, top world class fighters, right? So you mean to tell me now he's going to go fight Bivol? Okay, that's funny. Listen, man, Bivol already beat a small Mexican. He already beat a big Mexican, so why not beat a medium-sized Mexican? Make, 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 it a, make it the hat trick of Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? Listen, and there's no disrespect to the Mexicans, man. I'm just, I'm just having fun. But, like, I can see the fight maybe happening, right? Because right now, as it stands, uh, what's it going to call it? Um... Better BF's got to fight Yard, right? And they're saying if Better BF wins that fight, then he has to fight Callum Smith. So we're probably not going to get the undisputed fight anytime soon, right? The Canelo rematch is also a, a, a fight that could happen for him. That's always been discussed. But, you know, I, I wouldn't mind seeing this, you know, because Munguia has never fought anyone around this level. And if Golden Boy Promotions thinks that he can handle Bivol, the best pure boxer in the entire sport, with all respect to Shakur Stevenson, to me, Bivol is the best pure boxer in the entire sport. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. A-plus feet, A-plus hands, A-plus defense, A-plus accuracy. He's just an A-plus fighter around the board. There, There is very little weaknesses in Bivol. And every time people keep thinking that there is weaknesses, weakness in him, he shows you there ain't. There ain't really much. There ain't really much there. You know, uh, when he fought Canelo, people thought that Canelo would, would the body punch would be the difference. And we saw that tight, that tight guard from Bivol was too much for him. They thought the, 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 the Canelo Alvarez... Heavy-handed punches to the body. We're going to break him down. They didn't. Bivol's defense was too efficient, too smart, too intelligent for Canelo to uh, do anything. And that's why Canelo got tired and he was huffing and puffing and blown out of his ass like the big bad wolf. Then, right, even me, 
I thought Zoro Ramirez was going to be a much bigger challenge for him. I even thought Zoro could probably beat him, right? Because Zoro was showing some improvements in some fights. And Zoro is a guy that's big, a gargoyle, a heavyweight. So I'm thinking, okay, some size, southpaw can box a bit, you know, got some pop, very determined fighter. Then there were different types of styles. You know, I'm thinking Zoro going to get bit off some fits. Nope. But he beat him. Nope. No, no issue at all. So my thing is this. What could Munguia bring to the table that Bibble hasn't seen already? Like, what could he bring to the table that Zoro couldn't, couldn't bring or Canelo couldn't bring? Because Canelo, to me, Canelo's a smarter fighter than Munguia. There's no doubt about that. And Zoro's a bigger fighter than Munguia. So he fought, smarter, he fought a smarter fighter with the Mexican style than, um, than Munguia. And he's fought a bigger fighter out the southpaw stance with the Mexican style than Munguia. So to me, I'm going to say it like this. If... B fights, if Munguia fights Bibbo, it's going to be Munguia exposed by Bibbo again. Straight up. It's going to be another a fight where, you know, a, a fighter gets exposed by Bibbo because he don't got the feet. He don't got the... He's got the volume, but then with volume, right? When you're a volume puncher, that also presents counter-punching opportunities. Bivol is too sharp for that bullshit. So I, I just... I don't see how he's going to win unless Bivol somehow gets old overnight. But listen... If they, if 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 Golden Boy is interested in making the fight, and Matchroom and Bibol and his his, his esteemed manager Alec, uh, what's his name? What, what's the guy's name? Vadim. Vadim. If if Bibol's manager Vadim, I think that's his name. If they want to make the fight happen, then I'm all I'm all with it. I'm all with the fight because at some point in time we got to know what uh, what Munguia has. And I think look, even if he loses the fight, if he could have a better showing against Bibol than Canelo, which shouldn't be too hard because you got to win like one round. Or Zoro, <laughs> which shouldn't be too hard because you got to win about one or two rounds. Like if, you know, like if he could have a better showing than them and make it a good fight with Bibol, then the stock rises. And if he could obviously beat, beat Bibol, then obviously in one fight, the narrative would change about Munguia. And all of a sudden, we, we'd have to start looking at him as a, you know, a top, a, a top grade fighter and a guy that um, obviously you'd have to give credit to Golden Boy and Friend of the Xenifer Promotions for how they built him, even though we don't agree with it as boxing fans. You know what I'm saying? So take the training wheels off, let him ride his two-wheel bicycle up the street, and go see Dimitri Bivol and see if he can if he can swim in the deep end with the big kids. So, uh, yeah, that's the news, man. Dimitri B B Munguia being rumored to potentially fight Bivol. Uh, Golden Boy is floating that idea out there. What do you guys think? What say you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.